Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome to a brand new game called Bipedal Bunny from the Moon with a machine gun and a helicopter backpack dating sim. With a name like that, I had to try the game. <laughs> Let us play! The first night. Ooh, it is always best to start in the beginning. Here I was sneaking out at night again. I had to get away though. My little brother had been insufferable, insufferable tonight. Fucking little brothers! They're always trying to do the things you're doing. I'm like, I'm having a cool time. And they're like, I want to come along. Quit being a douche nozzle. And now the neighbors are being extremely noisy. I needed some quiet to clear my head. And so I sneaked out and headed to the nearby hill that I left. Oh, hill, I love your moundy mounds. Oh, oh, you taste like dirt. The moon was especially bright tonight. Suddenly, a strange rumbling sound entered my head. I hope I'm not about to fart. I hope that's not it. Ah, oh, great. Seems that the neighbors were so noisy, even now I can hear them banging away. Ah, oh, banging at their, you know, sexy parts. But wait, something was wrong. The sound was getting louder and it seemed to be coming from the air. Is it angels? Do you have good news about the birth of a Christ child? It reminded me a little bit of a helicopter, but it seemed too quiet. But also too close. Stealth helicopters. I looked in the sky, searching for the source of it, and... Oh my god, what the hell is that? What the hell, what the hell, what the hell, what the hell, what the hell is that? It's some sort of abominable snow bunny with a machine gun and helicopter blades. I love these next-gen graphics. It's a bunny. A bipedal bunny. With a helicopter backpack. That sounds pretty cool. Watch out for your ears. And a machine gun. It must mean it's an American bunny. God bless you, American bunny. He's coming on me. I mean, towards me. Uh, wait. Coming towards me? Ah! I started to run, but it was too late. The thing was before me. It spoke in a voice unlike any I had heard before. Hey there, human. What's your name? My, my name is... Was, was, past tense? Um, my name is, I don't know, PP Pants. Is there room for, yes? My name is PP Pants. My parents didn't really like me much, so they gave me a crappy name. You could call it a P name. What? Like Paul. Oh, I barely managed to stammer out an answer. I hope he thinks I'm cool. PP Pants, huh? That's an interesting name. Well now, PP Pants, let me tell you something. Do not let anyone know you saw me. Well, well, why can't I let anyone know you saw me? You're not gonna hurt me, are you? Can you promise me that, PP Pants? Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. The bunny ready the machine gun and then started to walk away. I realized then that the bunny, I think it was a she, knew my name, but I, I, I didn't know hers. I'm not going to get the hell out of here. I, how often am, am I going to have a chance to meet a lovely furry bunnykins with a machine gun and a helicopter backpack? I'm going to ask her name. Wait! Yes, human! What's, what's, what, what's your name? My name? I'm surprised you care. But to satisfy your curiosity, my name is unpronounceable in your tongue. But you may call me Vera. And now I must go. Vera, no! And verily she left. And then I left the hill too. I ran straight to my older brother's room and stormed in without even knocking. Uh, yo, what are you doing, pee pants? You did this! Huh? You don't tell me! Mom's been suspecting you of doing drugs for ages. And now you must have slipped some into my food tonight, druggy. What? No, I wouldn't. Don't lie, what was it, shrooms, LCD? I love my LCD screen that gets me high. What did you give me? Uh, nothing. Honestly, nothing. I don't even have anything at the moment. I, I, I mean, I, 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 I never had anything. You're a drug man. I started to calm down a tit, I mean bit, but I still felt like I'd been drug, even though my brother's garish room was adding to that feeling now. Its strange colors had a surreal look, uh, and several of the, no, all of the angles looked off, almost as if it was a picture drawn in a hurry by a terrible artist who didn't understand a damn thing about perspective. Oh, I'm losing my perspective! But it was probably just because I was so high strung, and I thought about it more, I realized my brother wouldn't actually drug me. Uh, are you okay? 
Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine, other than the fact my parents named me Pee Pants and I saw a cool bunny. Uh, I'm sorry for brother brothering you? Ha 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 ha! Bothering you, big brother. The second night. The next evening, an opportunity to slip out. Oh, it slipped out! And go to the hill presented itself, dare I take it? Uh. I'm going? Life's an adventure. I went to the hill and looked around. This is my looking noise. Oh. 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 <laughs> At first I saw no sign of Vera, but then I saw her fur peeking through the trees. She approached me. You have come again. Odd. Yeah, usually people don't say that right away. But, you know, those things happen. Yeah, I suppose. So why are you here? Oh, no, I can see because I want Rabbit Stew and attack her. But no, she's got a machine gun. I'm going to play coy. Um, I'm not totally sure. Uh, so are you real? I'm not dreaming. I am very real. I am the realest thing you ever reeled. If there was a book about real things, it'd be about me. Wow, where did you come from? My mama. I came from the moon. There are bunnies on the moon? How, how, how would you operate a helicopter in space? There's no atmosphere. The moon? Are you like a bunny version of Sailor Moon then? Sailor Bunny Moon? Not quite. I am not so cool. Oh. No, I'm going to insist you're cool. What do you mean you're not cool? You're literally a bunny from the moon with a machine gun and a backpack helicopter. How could you not be cool? Of all the things I've seen, this is the coolest. Today, tonight, on the hill. Where I come from, such a thing is normal. So you're saying the moon is full of... Are you guys violent? Or it just is that like how you get things off of shelves by shooting them? Okay, but maybe. But trust me, you are cool. Uh, thank you. But now I must go. I have business to take care of. What business? All right, see you again soon. I'll miss you, Vera. See you soon. Please don't kill my big brother. The third night. Third night. Reading's hard. Once again, I was sneaking out to meet with the giant talking bunny. How would I explain that to my parents? Where are you going, son? Giant talking bunny on the hill. You're just like your dad. I hadn't told anyone in my family about it as I was pretty certain they would not believe me. You again. That's, that's a fine how do you do. Yeah, it's me again. You seem very interested in me. Yeah, well, who would it be? Oh, of course, on your world, I'm an oddity. It's only natural that you are curious. Yeah, no, that's not it. Is it not? What do you even know about me aside from my name? Well, you have a machine gun and a helicopter backpack. And for some reason, you spent a lot of time on this hill. Uh, but other than that... Okay, fair point. But why don't you tell me more about yourself then? Like, why are you here? To track down a dangerous criminal and take him back to the moon. Wait. A dangerous criminal and you're only looking on this hill. Have you bothered looking any, any, anywhere besides the hill? Ugh. I see. Wait, wait, wait a second. A dangerous criminal. Am, am, am I in danger? Are my friends in danger? You don't have friends. Oh, that hurts. The criminal will not want to reveal its existence to humans, so your friends and family are safe. You are safe too, as long as you are not near me. Around me, though, you could become a target. I am sorry. I should have warned you about this earlier, but I am not good with people. You should not come here. Where can I come, then? Come on, you didn't answer that. And with that, she shot off into the sky before I even had a chance to object. The fourth night. Good. I thought, I thought she was going to be gone forever. You're here again, even after I warned you? Why? I need friends. Oh, shit, butts. Sorry. Language. I hit the wrong button on the mouse and got scared. Because <laughs> uh, I... Because I want to see you again despite the danger. I don't understand. Why? I don't know it. At first I thought I was coming just to prove to myself that you were real. Now though, I guess I just enjoy hanging out with you. Certainly better company than my two brothers. That's certainly the way to make someone feel special. Well, I like you better than my brothers. So, whatever. I see. So, like, can I ask you something? Sure. Though I may not be able to answer. What's it like on the moon? Since there's no real atmosphere, do you guys just suffocate a lot? Because that sounds sh crappy. It's dead. 
dead? You have seen the surface of the moon. Those images are not fake. The entire surface is lifeless. Like my dating life. Oh. <laughs> we live in a massive underground city. What a bunnies? That's so cute. One that would cover the entire surface were it on top. It is not always pleasant. We have good technology and can survive despite the lifelessness. Yeah, that's nice. What kind of TV shows do you watch? Is it like Bunny Magnum P.I., Bunny A-Team, um, Bunny Fear Factor? But I will very much miss the trees, the animals, the plants, and all of this here when I go back. Will you miss me? Oh, man, I'm sorry. It's not your fault. We spent the rest of the night talking about her life back in the moon. When I finally got up to leave, it was nearly sunrise. She's not doing a very good job of hunting the criminal. The conversation had turned again to things she would miss when she returned to the moon, so we parted in somewhat somber moods. As I left, I thought I heard her say, And I will miss you too! The fifth night. Welcome back, BB Bants! Oh, why did I name myself that? Good to see you, Vera. What would you like to talk about tonight? Aren't you supposed to be hunting a criminal or something? How about family? I, I brought you with uh, my own son, but do you have any family? Yes, I have three oldest, oldest sisters, all of which are more talented than I. I find that hard to believe. Hard to believe or not, it's true! Um... Oh, man, do I support her or just say... No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna relate. Well, hopefully they're at least uh, less annoying than my own. They are, thankfully. Oh, you just said my brothers are annoying. Though I wonder if perhaps you're too hard on your family. I'm sure they love you in their own way. Yeah, I guess that's true. It's hard to, it's hard to disagree with a bunny with a machine gun. I would be somewhat curious to meet your family. But that would only put them and you in additional danger. Yeah, that's sad. I'd love you to see my older brother react to... Wait, I'd love to see my older brother react to seeing you. I hope our older brother isn't the criminal they're looking for. So would I. I'm sorry, but I must leave early for tonight, for I have a good lead on the criminal. Good night, pee-pee pets. Good night, Vera. The sixth night. Ah, uh, Vera? Only silence followed. Vera! 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 I searched all night for her, but never saw her. The only sign I discovered were some faint traces of blood near one of the trees. Blood that did not look human. How did, how did, how do we know that? It's not like Klingon blood where it's purple. Also, near the blood were a few tufts of lightly colored fur. Nevera, no! The seventh and final night. Vera, Vera! Vera, please, can you hear me? Vera, please, answer me, you damn bunny! Hello, PB Pants! Oh, that's... that's awkward. Awkward. Oh, you startled me, Vera! Oh my god, Vera! Are you, are you okay? I am, and I have captured the criminal! Oh, uh, when I saw the blood and fire in that tree, you didn't have your period, did you? I, I thought you were hurt! I am sorry. That was the blood of the criminal. Actually, not mine. Yeah, because you're a badass, Vera! It took all of last night to finally capture him, but I succeeded. He is now safely restrained inside my ship. I want to see your ship. Thank God, but if you capture him... Wait, that means... Yes, I will return to the moon now. I simply came here to say goodbye. G -g goodbye Yes, I must go now. I don't want you to go. You're my friend. What? I don't want you to go. That's why I just, uh, that's why I just said that. I do not want to either, but it is my duty. To rock the booty? I must go. Vera, please, let me let me tell you something. I haven't known you very long, but I... No, don't say it. Shh. If you say it, it will be too painful. I have to say it, especially now if it's my last chance. Vera, I love you. I love you more than I've ever loved anyone that I've met on a hill and was a bunny in, like, a day. But I am... I don't care if you're a bunny. I've fallen in love with you. Uh, I hope she's not married. And I? I have fallen in love with you too. Uh, okay, please tell me we're not having bunny human babies. Vera! I have to return. I must, for one thing, I, I can't leave the criminal in my ship forever. But, after I return to the moon, I will come back. 
It may take me a while to get permission, but I promise I will return. Please wait for me. I will return to this place. Farah, how long do I have to wait? Because I, 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 my TV show's on later tonight. It was hard to focus on her face, as my vision was blurred with tears, and so I barely even noticed when she leaned in and kissed me. It smells like carrot breath. I never expected this would be how my first kiss would go, but I wasn't complaining. Um, it's not going to be awkward to tell people later on, when you date other people. Who was your first kiss? Well, I kissed a bunny on a hill. Ah. Uh, all right, Vera, I will wait for you, but you better come back. I will. I waited days, weeks, months, years. People wondered why I showed no interest in dating others. I couldn't tell them. They'd think I was crazy. But even after five years passed and I lost hope of ever seeing Vera again, I couldn't imagine dating anyone else. And every night I returned to that hill, awaiting the one who would never come. That's dating life anyway. What happened, Vera? Where Did you get in trouble? Were the authorities of the moon unwilling to let you return? What if Vera just was bullshitting us? What if Vera was just like, this is awkward. Yeah, I'll be back. Ugh. I'm still waiting. I'll always wait for you. Even if I have to wait my whole life. How long do bunnies live? Is she still alive? I turned to go, but then I heard something. A faint noise coming from the sky. Getting steadily louder. I looked up. Vera! Ah, oh, we got the true ending, the best ending. It's amazing how often I play visual novels and do. I'm glad they ended there, because it would have been awkward if we had to make bunny love. Summer loving with your bun. Put it in the bun of the bun bun hun. <laughs> if you'd like to play this game yourself and see some of the other endings, it'd be interesting if one of the other endings, if the brother's the criminal or whatever. Uh, there should be a link in the description. And thank you to whoever made this game. I had a lot of fun playing it. I'll see you guys all in the next Let's Play.